So a discussion. Um, baseline data indicates the stink pot and yellow-bellied slider are the most abundant turtles. And sampling bias may exist. Because we were limited to where we could catch turtles using our dip nets, further studies should try to implement a larger variety of sampling methods in order to cover the shallower banks and deeper centers of the sites. Gathering numbers like baseline data of the numbers of species present at man-made habitats such as golf courses are important because as natural, natural habitats are reduced, man-made habitats will facilitate the survival of turtles. And if we can gather information on which turtles are successfully acclimated themselves to these current man-made ponds, then we can determine which species need alternative conservation efforts. The soft shell turtle and snapping turtle were the largest based on straight carapace length and width. And this is true of sites where many soft shell turtles, female soft shell turtles are present, since there is that sexual dimorphism that exists. Um, and again, you know, I've talked to several guys that live on Lake, Mo Lake Logan Martin, and they go, shoot, I saw a female soft shell turtle, and she was big around, this, you know, you're my truck tire. And I shot it. You know, they want the bigger ones because turtle soup. Anyway, and but while, whereas the smaller ones are, you know, yay big. So based on, and probably the sexual dimorphism exists because females need to carry a larger clutch of eggs. So, sorry, I forgot to mention that part. And based on she, the Shannon Wiener Diversity Index, this population is relatively even. Um, since the index indicated that there's a low diversity of species, considering that Alabama is home to um, one of the highest amount of species of turtles in the world, with the exception of some er areas in Asia, the expected number of species should be higher. However, historical data has said that five to nine species is average per site. So we were, we were okay. It's just, you know, you'd expect, we had that many turtles, we should have a lot of species caught. So species of host, sex of host, or abnormal accumulation of host do not appear to play a role in leech loads of turtles. The exclusion of the species of host suggests that if an attachment site is available on a turtle, leeches will attach to the host regardless of species. The exclusion of the sex of host suggests that blood meals were equally effective at supporting leeches and excluding the potential influence of host female hormones on leech infestation. And the exclusion of algal accumulation suggests that if the age of the host does not play a role in host selection, because typically older individuals are going to have a lot more algae than little tiny juveniles. And the repeated occurrence of one or two larger individuals coupled with multiple smaller individuals of the same species suggests that the leeches are reproducing on the turtles. And while we did not sequence our intended mitochondrial DNA, we did have a clear read on genomic DNA from the, our, you know, our sequencer, um, not our sequencer, UAB sequencer, but um, from our read from them. And we know that our methods work. We just need to screen um, more colonies so to see if you know, our 800 base pair region, we know it's on that plate somewhere. It's just, which little colony is it? And when we initially looked at our gel, we continued with sequencing because after amplifying the DNA, it had appeared that we had DNA in the correct 800 base pair region. And if we had the time and money, which, you know, hopefully over the summer we'll have time, um, we plan on running a 4% gel in order to separate the product out further and hopefully excise the correct region and then use that to insert into colonies and make more and more DNA. And um, if we did select and find the correct you know, 800 base pair region, we do believe that our turtle would be genetically similar to the individual that Lee Strzok and Jameson collected from Macon County, Alabama. So acknowledgments, um, I'd like to thank Dr. Klein, Dr. Murdoch, and Dr. Mead, all of you guys that have listened to my spiel, have helped me with statistics, have helped with sequencing, all of that, I appreciate it. And uh, to Mr. Matthew McCoy, because he was my master turtle catcher. I would sit there and do the measurements and he would go catch like five more turtles and he was like, why didn't you analyze these all yet? So, he did a good job. So are there any questions? This is my little um, thing like, you know, every time you caught a snapping turtle, 
here's the turtle, all happy in the net, not too happy. And then you go to hog time, then he starts to get out, then he starts to run away, then he's just like crawling around hissing at you. It's a good time. So what, does anybody have any fun questions? 